Hi friends, welcome back. In today's video of HSA English model questions, we have some questions from post-structuralism. Let's go to the questions. First question is, which of the following statements is true with regard to post-structuralism? Options are, it views language as a stable and closed entity. It believes that meaning is outside. The verbal sign is constantly floating free of the concept it is supposed to designate. A literary text can only be understood when it is seen being part of a large structure. Which is the answer. A statement. Which statement is true? That is the question with regard to post-structuralism. Let's, I hope you got the answer. Yes, the answer is here, option C. The verb verbal sign is uh, constantly floating, free of the concept it is supposed to designate. This is true with regard to post structuralism. Uh, it never views language as a stable and closed entity. And meaning is outside, is true when it comes to structuralism, but not true when it comes to post structuralism. Okay. A literary text can only be understood when it uh, when it is seen uh, being part of a large structure is also true uh, when it comes to structuralism again. So here the answer is option C. Let's go to the next question. Question number two. Who is considered to be the father of the construction? Simple question. Options are Sashu, Derrida, Roland Barthes, Foucault, Michael, spelling is, there is no yeah here. Yeah. Option E is, correct option is Jacques Derrida. Derrida is the correct answer. I think all of you know this. Question number three. Post-structuralism entered the American literary departments through the works of Dash. Options are the Southern Agrarians, the Beat Generation, the Imagist, the Yale Critics. Post-structuralism entered to the American, American literary departments. Yes, the correct answer is going to be the Yale Critics. The Yale Critics. Question number four. Derrida sees in modern times a particular event which constitutes a radical break from past ways of thought. He loosely associates this break with three philosophers. Who among the following is not one among them? Not one among them. So options are Foucault, Nietzsche, Heidegger, Freud. Yeah, he sees a radical break from the past ways of thought, uh, especially uh, in three philosophers, okay? And who are those three, uh, three philosophers? Yes, the answer is, uh, here the answer is Foucault. So Foucault is not among those three philosophers, Nietzsche, Heidegger, Freud are those philosophers uh, whom Derrida saw a radical break from the first ways of past ways of thought. We had discussed it when we were talking about post-structuralism. You can see if you want uh, post-structuralism, the video that I did, the link can be given in the description box. Question number five. Logocentrism is the view that option A, speech is central to language. Writing is central to language. Both speech and writing are central to language. A firm center is necessary for the functioning of language. So which one is true in the case of logocentrism when it comes to logocentrism? 
yeah this correct answer is speech is central to the language okay this was the belief uh, uh, as derrida says okay western philosophy uh, had always uh, you know given importance to speech or or, or logos okay question number 6 which of the following works is not written by derrida not written by derrida be careful options are of dramatology madness and civilization speech and phenomena writing and difference you probably got the answer yes madness and civilization here that is the answer it is written by fuko question number 7 which of the following is not true about derrida's axial proposition of the essay of grammatology there is no outside text derrida says there is no outside text is the axial proposition of his essay of grammatology theology okay sometimes it is said it is uh, translated as uh, there is nothing outside the text anyway what 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 does it mean option a meaning is inside the text not outside then option b text is not restricted by meanings or 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 bindings the end of the book uh, is uh not actually is end of the book is not uh the end of the writing a text overruns and spills over its borders so which one is uh not true actually which one is not true so three options are true uh as far as this axiom there is no outside text is concerned so which one is not true Let's check the answer. I think you you got the answer. Answer is meaning is inside the text, not outside. This is not true. Okay. So all the other options B, C, A, uh, A, A B, C, D are are correct. Okay. I have explained this. I I suppose uh, when I was doing the video post-structuralism. Question number eight. who coined the terms readerly text and writerly text options are roland barthes fuko derrida paul de man readerly text and writerly text are terms by yes roland barthes roland barthes is the correct answer question number 9 which post structuralist critic was interested in power knowledge relationship power knowledge relationship options are jack torida michel fuko john bodrillard ferdinand de sachu yes power knowledge relationship of course the answer is going to be michel fuko and I think we can have a separate video on Michel Foucault. I think I ho- I will I hope I can do that. Question number ten: Who among the following is not one among the Yale critics? Options are Paul D. Mann, Roland Barthes, Harold Bloom, and J. Hillis Miller. Not among the Yale critics. Yes, the correct answer is Roland Barthes. Roland Barthes is not there among the uh, Yale critics. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. Thank you for watching.